Hello ladies and gentlemen, well the Ubuntu 19.10 formal release is due in, well, a matter of hours from now, well, tomorrow from the time of recording this video. So I thought in the meantime I would take a look at some of the themings you can get in KDE. It's, it's uh, really changed now, I was having a good play around with it in the minimal version of uh, Kubuntu 19.10. Playing around with the Latte dock there, just customise the theming, just seeing what's available, because there really is quite a lot nowadays. I'm, I'm quite surprised at uh, just how much variety there is. And there's even uh, themings for Cavantum as well, it's a different theming engine, it's something I'd, I'd look at in one release. Um, I don't think I found it, I'm not going to be critical of it, but I don't think it was that amazing that I felt I just must add it to my system. So yeah, I think it would help with like the transparency and some of the better effects you can get in the applications. So I don't know, you can get transparency effects with the standard themings that, uh, well, sorry, the themings for the standard desktop. Yeah, since there's so many available, well, I've got no hope of looking at many of these. <laughs> and I don't even know what I was installing. I was literally just going down the list, clicking on anything, because <laughs> why not? I don't care, this is just a virtual system, so. Let's just discuss how it works. So look and feel. So look and feel adjusts the entire settings for like everything, just depending on how it's, uh, it's being configured by the author. Or you can actually configure individual components. So in the workspace you can choose various plasma themes which is like just the panels and then the colors, that's the colors within the application and text colors or the application style you've got uh, window decorations so the application title bar. So on this desktop I've gone for a panel there in the top right hand side that panel can be well, panel exists on the top of the screen so applications can go under it and we have the latte dock that yeah remains visible the whole time so it seems to me that's uh, like the behavior I've had with the unity desktop but yeah let's take a look at some of these look and feel themes just to see how good they really do look because uh, some uh, seem a bit more shallow to me it's like Almost to the point of why have you created it is too similar to something else. Anyway, since I was mentioning Unity, you can actually have a Unity look in this. So this is just a bit slow at changing. Or sometimes it's even very slow at changing, or I just need to go to another theme and go back. Or I could just log out and log back in. That would be the proper way to set the theme. But anyway, you can choose some of the themings and, and they'll gradually uh, change the color of the open applications. Anyway, there's... Uh, a Unity-like theme. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. We'll close, minimize, maximize buttons whilst being the right style. I don't think I've got the colors quite right. Seems a bit more of a deeper, well, so I'm saying deeper orange uh, is more of a ready orange than it should be. What else do we have? I suppose I should start at the top. There's no way I'm gonna get through all of these. <laughs> There's just kind of too many to discuss. Let's start with Amethyst. So very purple. Um, it's got some pink folders there. Sometimes it doesn't change the icon for the folder if I've got something in it. So that's, that's loaded up a thumbnail there in Dolphin. That, that's just an issue with KDE. If I was to log out, log back in, that would be displayed fine, or, or even just change to a different folder and go back. Yeah, it, it, it will happen. So that, that's just an issue there with. Uh, applying the theme. A first time applying of the theme. So Anka, this looked uh, a bit more blue. Come on, you're being very slow this time. Uh, yep, there we go. Not so sure about these clo close, minimize, maximize buttons. They're very small. Why are they so small? What are you trying to hide? Hmm. That's the default breeze theme. So there's Breeze Light, Breeze Dark, and Kubuntu comes with a combination of two. Why is it being so slow to change theme? I did the first take of this video and I just kind of waffled for too long and I thought, Let, let's just go back and I'm going to choose less of the themes. That was kind of my idea, but I didn't expect to have to wait longer for the themes to apply. That wasn't uh, part of my consideration there. So I thought I'd like the look of this one, the Breeze Blur Blue. But that's just the Breeze Light theme with a different... Uh, application title bar, so that's a 
transparent title bar, but honestly, I think that would look better being a dark coloring color scheme. So I, mean, I could choose that to have a look at uh, Breeze Dark. I think this would suit it better. Well, it's very difficult to read what the application is there, especially with a choice of background. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I'd go for that really. Let's go back to look and feel. So Cantata Dark. Now notice this changed the icon there on the application launcher. Windows icon, no, 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 definitely not having that. But why have they gone for the Windows icon when it's more like a Mac, close, minimize, maximize? And the orange is there. That, nothing there reminds me of Windows. And green for highlighting. <laughs> why? I don't get that one. Charlie? Oh, we got the letter C for the application launcher. No, nah, no. Nah. Don't like that. Let's just change folder so I get rid of that pink. I say get rid of it, uh, and it's still there. <laughs> Go on, KD, stop being a troll. Okay, I'd have to log out, log back in. Can't be bothered. That would involve playing around, wasting time. No. No, I'm playing around wasting time now, aren't I? <laughs> I just mocked myself. Okay. Uh, let's go on to Phantasma. I'm not so sure about this green color scheme here. Phantasma. When it wants to apply. So that, that launcher, a very cute ghost. Okay, very cute. So notice they've gone for like a lot of transparency there. So if I look at the configuration of Latte Dock. Yeah. Can't read that very well. But I've got the application dashboard here and yeah, that's transparent anyway. Perhaps a bit too transparent than it should be. Let's look at these Clorax themes. So something I hadn't mentioned here is theming of GTK applications. So if I go back to the application style, when you actually want to apply, come on, hurry up. Right, application style. So GNOME GTK applications have a separate theming again. So many of the KDE themes don't kind of work with this. So they're not supplying for the GTK themings. So it does look a bit messy to me, but at least with the Clorax themes, they've done that. They've actually applied the same color scheme here for the GTK apps. But that's actually the reason why I like the Breeze themes, because they've actually gone and made the GNOME applications look like the KDE applications. It's kind of a good reason why I've stuck with it. Anyway, back to the look and feel. I think that other Clorax theme, yeah, that's a bit purple there. This Lazen, that, sorry, not Lazen, Layen, this Layen theme looks so similar to Breeze, just with, uh, okay, slightly different styling on the close, minimize, and maximize buttons. But we've got this uh, purple instead of blue. Yeah, otherwise that's kind of breeze dark. What's the point really? Oh yeah, I'd like a purple instead of the blue. Oh, let's go for this one. It's got Manjaro in the name. Materia Manjaro Dark. Well, that's completely transparent uh, title bars there. Completely transparent. So depending on the background, that could be very difficult to see. Neon Knights. Neon Knights Green in particular. So Neon Knights did have quite a few different colours available. I have to say I do like what I've done there on the panel. That uh, double line there does look quite nice. Not so sure about the green actually, but you know the concept of what they've done there with that line art. Hmm. I think that looks good. Let's go to this one. Revenge Ship, because the application has looked because the folder icons looked really fancy. Quite like those. Do look good. But what have they done with the application icons? What a mess though. Now this is a problem. If you're going to change application icons, you've got to make a good effort to make sure all the default applications that could be there are covered. Uh, LibreOffice is not covered. Come on. LibreOffice is such a standard application in Linux. Like having an Office client 
What would I use instead? Google Docs? No, 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 no. Yeah, um, not, not a good look, I'm afraid. And yeah, all app. Come on, Chromium isn't covered. C Chromium, the open source browser. We've got Firefox covered. That's just, just terrible. It's, it's just the KDE applications, isn't it? Well, except Camozo isn't covered. Come on. Don't do it. If it's not complete, don't use the icon theme. And I've argued this before. I've even really complained about Linux distros that have a default icon theme that isn't complete for the applications that have pre-installed. That's just not the worst things I think you can do. Relax. I suppose that is one way of relaxing, isn't it? I'm not going to mention it out loud. Yes, um, smoking something. Simply circles red evolve. Don't know what it says. Evolution? Is that what it's saying? Oh, another one with a different icon theme. That doesn't have LibreOffice included. I would rather swear at this point. How can you not have LibreOffice included? Some of the icon themes have got mixed up from before. LibreOffice. It's not just because I've chosen a Snap version of LibreOffice. I'm starting to think this might actually be my fault here. The Snap version of LibreOffice, but I shouldn't have thought that would matter. Unless it's because the icon name varies. In fact, maybe that is it. It's just a different name than it should be, or a different name than it's, than it's expecting. Oh, I didn't think I selected United again. I thought I went to Wimbledon. My bad. Anyway, how long has this been? Oh, just over 10 minutes now. So I think that was just a, a bit of a mess around here at the theming. Uh, this Wimbledon's kind of been slow to apply. It's, it's kind of nothing too much unique here. I'm going to have to log out and log back in for these icons, I think. They've gotten really mixed up from uh, before. So yeah, anyway, that uh, seems a good point to leave it. Or to just go back to Breeze Dark, maybe that'll force back some of these icons to how they should look. Okay, now I've gone back to the defaults. Getting there when it applies. So anyway, that was a mess around with the KD themings. Things have uh, come along quite a way. Lots more choice now. Whether that choice is useful or not, that's another matter, but hey, that's... Uh, Kind of like that with everything with uh, free open source software. Is all this various choice useful or not? Anyway, thanks for watching. See you all later.